shit. If it ain't, we'd only be wasting a bullet. Only problem is it being Sunday morning and all, you know? Who you calling? Slim Charles, man. You told me we supposed to bring our beef from before the group, right? Here it is, you won with the young boy Marlo over Cornish. Marlo ain't in the group. Be that as it may, all this shoot 'em up shit is bad for business. We got cops on half the west side corners. And what corner they ain't holding? I can't have my people standing on for fear they're gonna be mistaken as one of the bar stair people and catch a bullet. Look, man, I try to talk to the young buck myself, but... You try talking to Avon, because that's half the problem right there. No, yeah. no yeah. doubt. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's it, man. Nigga probably sleeping in. Fact is, Stringer, your man needs to reconcile himself to this new way of thinking. Now, you could remind him that like everyone else in this room, he benefiting from my connect and from the wholesale price we got by throwing in together. I mean, he know that. Come on, Joe. Well, so now we coming to him for help with a little something. He need to just back the fuck off and let the young gun keep his corners. Mm -hmm. And you said yourself, it can't be about territory no more. Old habits die hard. Who this? Yeah, it's me. You want a house where the dude is, you know... It ain't about Talk, nigga. Shit, man, I'm trying not to use names. But it's Gerard, man. Yo, we on Omar. He gonna come out the house. As you know, I ain't trying to lose no niggas on them corners either, but it's a two-way street, you know? Uh. Gerard and Sabba got the sights on Omar. Tried to be slim and he ain't answering. So? It's church day spring, Sunday morning, you know? It shows him. Omar, yeah. All right, do it. Do it. Uh, they right there, close. Oh, my goodness. Hey, 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 hey. I definitely hit him. On a Sunday morning. We called to ask. Shamrock said to go. On a Sunday morning. Y'all try to hit a nigga when he taking his wrinkle ass grandmas to pray? And y'all don't hit the nigga neither? Or y'all kill his grandma's crown? And by the time Sham say go, oh my damn near in the cab. Ain't enough y'all that violated this Sunday morning truce. No. I'm standing here holding a torn up church crown of a bona fide color lady. Do you know what a color lady is? Not your mom's for sure. Because if they was that, y'all would have known better than that bullshit. Y'all trifling with Avon Boxdale reputation here. You know that? She all right, though? I mean, she got cut in her face in the glass. And she saw from where I fell in her, but other than that, though. You saved her ass, huh? I damn near got that woman killed, yo. Y'all should have seen me inside our hospital while they stitching her up, lying about why somebody won't shoot me down the street. That woman think I work in the cafeteria. Cafeteria? At the airport, yeah. The airport? Why the airport? Because I know she ain't gonna never go down there to go dine, and that's why. <laughs> hey, yo, Kimmy, this ain't funny, yo. That woman raised me. And for as long as I've been grown, once a month, I've been with her on a church Sunday. Telling myself, ain't no need to worry because ain't nobody in this city that low down to disrespect a Sunday morning? Y'all know I was gonna walk away, right? Y'all know that, right? I mean, after Tasha, I was gonna leave them people be, yo. Avon home now. Oh, Box still got to go. Stringer too. This ain't got to end, man. I swear to God, Joe, on a Sunday morning, they near shot her best crown off, yo. I mean, no shame them niggas, man. Y'all feel me?